Hello students, by the grace of Almighty Allah, hope all of you are quite well. In last video, we have learned prime factorization and finding LCM by prime factorization. Today we will learn how to find GCF by prime factorization. We have to find GCF of 30 and 45. For this, first of all we have to write them 30, 45. Then we have to divide 30 and 45 by common prime factors of 30 and 45. You know 3 is a common prime factor of 30 and 45. So dividing 30 by 3 we get 10 and dividing 45 by 3 we get 15. Again we have to divide it by 5. Because 5 is a common prime factor of 30 and 45. Dividing 10 by 5 we get 2. Dividing 15 by 5 we get 3. Okay. Now to find GCF we have to multiply 3 and 5. Because 3 and 5 are common to both 30 and 45. And that's why GCF of 30 and 45 equal 3 into 5 equal 15 and hence the answer is 15 students did you notice that for LCM we have to multiply all the factors 3 5 2 3 and the LCM of 30 and 45 is 90 but the GCF of 30 and 45 is 15 notice carefully for GCF we have to multiply only common factors for LCM we have to multiply all the factors okay for LCM we have to multiply all the factors for GCF we have to multiply only common factors okay here we have to find the GCF of 8 and 6 mathematical problem one of your textbook page 36 okay so here 8 and 6 both are even number therefore obviously 2 is common prime factor of them dividing 8 by 2 we get 4 and dividing 6 by 2 we get 3 therefore GCF of 8 and 6 is 2 because it is only because it is only the common prime factor to both 8 and 6 okay and hence the answer is 2 Now, problem 3, we have to find the GCF of 9 and 16, okay. So, look, 9 is odd number, 16 is even number, and prime factor of 9 is 3, prime factor of 16 is only 2, okay. So, there is not a single common prime factor of 9 and 16. And therefore, you have to write 9, 16 do not have any common prime factors. Therefore, GCF of 9 and 16 is 1. And hence the answer is 1. You should know there is a rule that if the numbers do not have any common prime factors, then the GCF of those numbers is 1. Okay. Now, come to the problem 8. We have to find the GCF of 32, 64 and 40. So you have to write as well 32, 64 and 40 and 3 of the numbers are even so we have to divide by 2 dividing 32 by 2 we get 16 dividing 64 by 2 we get 32 and 40 we get 20 again all the numbers are even so again we have to divide by 2 dividing 16 by 2 we get 8 and dividing 32 by 2 we get 16 and 20 we get 10 okay again all the numbers are even number so again we have to divide by 2 dividing 2 by 2 we get 4 dividing 16 by 2 we get 8 and 10 we get 5 look here 4 8 are even number but 5 is the prime number so there is no common prime factor of these three numbers. 
and we have to stop the division when no common factors for all the numbers is found okay and we get the GCF by multiplying these numbers okay and therefore the GCF of 32 64 and 40 equal 2 into 2 into 2 equal 8 and hence the answer is 8 okay okay now come to problem 11 here we have to find the GCF of 25 26 27 and 30 all of you look factors of 25 1 5 25 factors of 26 1 2 13 26 similarly factors of 27 1 3 9 27 factors of 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 30 here there is not a single common prime factor to all the numbers okay and therefore you should write there is no common prime factor of 25 26 27 and 30 and that's why GCF of these numbers is 1 okay and hence the number is sorry hence the answer is 1 so do the remaining math yourself of base 36 it is exercise 5 and now we'll solve problem 5 the problem is there is a rectangular shape room as shown on the right side we want to pave square shape carpets on the floor of this room without leaving any space problem 1 find the length of the side of the largest square shape carpet that can pave the floor and 2 how many such carpets are necessary to pave the floor okay now try to understand the solution to the question 5 we have to find the length of the side of largest square shaped carpet okay and the length of the side of this largest square shaped carpet will be the gcf of 36 and 42 that is we have to find the gcf of 36 and 42 here both of 36 and 42 are even so first of all we have to divide it by 2 dividing 36 by 2 we get 18 and dividing 42 by 2 we get 21 here 3 is the common prime factor of both of them so we have to divide 18 by 3 and we get 6 dividing 21 by 3 we get 7 okay and there is no other common prime factor of 36 and 42 therefore the gcf will be multiplication of 2 and 3 okay that is gcf of 36 and 42 equal 2 into 3 equals 6 therefore required length is 6 meter and hence the answer is 6 meter okay now second part we have to find how many such carpets are necessary to pave the floor okay for this first of all we have to find the area of the required <coughs> carpet the area of the square shape carpet of 6 meter equal length into width okay this is a formula so length is uh, we know length and width of a square is same and for this we have to multiply 6 by 6 sorry 6 with 6 okay and multiplying 6 with 6 we get 36 square meter all of you should notice the unit okay it is square meter square meter square meter now we have to find the area of the total floor okay so again we have to multiply length with width and in the question the length is 42 meter and the width is 36 meter okay so the unit will be square meter because there are 2 meter okay 2 meter multiplying 42 with 36 we get 1512 square meter now the number of necessary carpets will be 1512 divided by 36 okay we have to divide this by this and which years 42 hence the answer is 42 okay all of you stay well goodbye